Hey everybody, it's me, Rumi, the comic book poser, and I'm here today to welcome you to Enter the Poserverse. I've got something new, and it's a big old box, so let's check out my first unboxing of the comic chest after this. So I stumbled across the comic chest on Instagram uh, when they were running some stuff for, for Black Friday and didn't have the extra cash to pick one up then, uh, but I did eventually and decided to pick one up. So this box is $70 shipped uh, and it is supposed to contain 10 comics, a box collectible, two vintage toys, something called Hero Clicks, which is some kind of micro statue game. It, we all probably know more about it than I do. Uh, and a pack of cards. I thought this was pretty cool because when I, you know, said I was interested in getting one, it wasn't just, okay, here's the money, you're done. That there is a level of curation that they do, that they have you complete a uh, nerd profile test, I think is what it was called, uh, where the first thing that they said was, uh, we're going to give you a list of a couple of things and rank each of them from one to five on how much you like or dislike these things. And the categories were comics, action figures, uh, movie, movie slash pop culture stuff, cartoons, wrestling, anime, and gaming. Uh, so I gave my rankings and then they asked like favorite comic characters, the type of movie or pop culture stuff uh, I'm into, what kind of cartoons, that there was a lot of questions in terms of individual stuff that I was into. So I think that level of curation made it very, very intriguing to me, right? Because there's an attempt to make sure that they're meeting my level of interest. So here is the the list that I just pulled up on Instagram to make a double check that I described everything correctly uh, when I could have just done that. And there's a nice note at the bottom that everything was disinfected prior to shipping, which is something that we have uh, dealt with in a world of COVID. So here we go. My pack of collectible cards. I've got eight spawn trading cards, so that's pretty cool. I'll put those in my box of trading cards that I'm collecting. I've got my comic chest sticker. Y'all know that that's going on the short box. I've got some nerds and some starbursts. I'm gonna enjoy those. Coming soon. In January, they have a limited edition Fantastic Four themed box that just says 60 bucks plus shipping, uh, limited supply, and every item is individually pre-wrapped. So we'll see if I hop in on this. I'm not the world's biggest Fantastic Four collector, but if I like what they got going on in here, then I will consider hopping in and grabbing one. So here's what the box looks like on the inside, which I think is is pretty cool that everything is individually like wrapped uh, so I can look in and see what's in there. So here is my collectible. It feels like a Funko Pop size box and that's because it is a Funko Pop. So now that I know which way is the right way to be looking, three, two, one, boom, Namor, the Marvel 80 years pop that I'm excited. This is my second one of these. The first one I ironically got when I was on a trip with students. Uh, we were in like West Des Moines, Iowa, and uh, I had bought some stuff to read. Saw that sitting on top of the cash register. So I'm glad to have a second one now. That means I can take one back to school because uh, I took it from my desk when the Rona happened. Here's our hero clicks. I still don't know what that is, so maybe when I open it, I'll see it and be like, oh. Or I'll open it and be like, I still don't know what the hell this is.
I still don't know what the hell this is, but they look kind of cool, so let me get them all out of the packaging. And then... I'll show you what they are, and I'm intrigued uh, at the bare minimum to, to go Google this and figure out what they are, but they're little statues that have, like, hit points and that kind of stuff that show up. So I've got an Iron Fist that looks like a uh, Black Bolt. Daredevil, and is that Electra? And Electra. So, like I said, I have no idea what they are, but they're four characters that I like, so that's a cool addition. This might be their extra pack of, like, cards and throw-ins that they said were in there. Oh, it's my wrestling. Oh, we start off with a good one. WCW Arn Anderson. That looks like some mandible claw, so... Yeah, so some mankind action. Is that a Sin City card? Yeah. I gotta get better at this blocking out my big old head thing. Oh, a... One of the Marvel Metallic. Submariner cards, that's pretty cool. A Weapon X. And you've got Storm, Wolverine, Namor, and the Hulk. So, that's a nice little pack in there. So we've got two, our two vintage toys, and then our comics that are next. Oh, hell yeah. New day. So, we got some big E goodness. I like that one. Big ending someone. Oh, that's good. He's like flexible at just about anywhere. So, if you like wrestling figures and you want to be able to fully like leg drop someone you can put the foot in the right spot and all that stuff so that's pretty cool i also like that these are all individually wrapped because it makes every day feel like christmas so merry christmas to me for buying the comic chest no i put it backwards oh shit and it is it squishy and bendable my man al snow when they were like, who are some of your favorite wrestlers? I listed like Mankind and Al Snow and Orange Cassidy and the, the New Day. So to get an Al Snow figure, that's pretty cool. Now I just got to see if I can find a head since that's who he had with him. That was his faithful companion. So definitely... Right now, this feels like a good, eclectic collection, uh, that it definitely feels like it's my kind of speed. And now, when Toby comes down and goes, do you have wrestlers? Then I can be like, why indeed I do. And I can talk to him about Al Snow, but I'm not gonna show my five-year-old hardcore matches because he'll probably, like, try and Sabu my daughter on the, we don't have any thumbtacks, but he'll probably dump Legos on the floor. That would not end well. I'd be in a lot of trouble with mommy. I gotta get better at unwrapping. All right, so here we go. We've got Daredevil, Man Without Fear, number 291, and here's the cool thing uh, that's on the back. They show you the prices of where it's at in terms of a grade, so I think that that's pretty cool. So at Near Mint, it's a $3 book, 
at VF it's 210 and at fine it's under a dollar. But this one looks like it's in pretty good condition. But the trick with some of these 90s books and the newsprint is, you know, how yellow are some of the pages. So here's another one. Daredevil Father, the director's cut. Is this Marvel Knights? Yep, and I don't have that one. And I'm filling some holes on my Marvel Knights Daredevil run. Another one. Is that just Defenders, New Defenders? Yeah, Defenders, number 5 of 5, when Giffen was writing it. This is... I don't remember the year. The logo makes it look like early 2000s. The Marvel emblem at the top. Yep, another Defenders book. Four. Is that number three? Nice. Am I going to get the whole run? Two? Yeah. I like that. Who's kicking Hulk's? <gasps> what? Is the next one number one? Alright. So I like that they sent a full run uh, in a mystery box that normally you don't get that. You get the random numbers and then are left praying that you get the other things. I know when I did my first run of mystery boxes I tried to do starter runs and go here one and two of certain series and in a couple of instances I had full short runs in my mystery box. Some Flash. Is this 90's goodness Flash? Yep. Uh, number 58. Into the Abyss. We got two more. Another Flash. The Chilling Return of the Icicle. Now is Icicle a bigger pain in the ass than Captain Cold? Mm -hmm. That's cool. And the last one. Wolverine number 70, 77. That's a nice Adam Cooper cover. I like that. And I like these grade cards on the back. I think those are all pretty cool in terms of letting you know where the value is at. Uh, so in terms of everything in the box, right, I think that nerd profile definitely paid off because it's a good snapshot into things that I actually like. And with other mystery boxes, y'all have seen me open things from other folks in the comic book YouTube community, folks on Instagram, you've seen me open, what, the comic mystery box, some comic toms, some box heroes. And while those are good because you can get some big hits, like y'all saw that I pulled that first carnage out of a boxed heroes, other things may not necessarily fit into the personal collection. And while, you know, none of these are mega key, huge first appearance, hundred dollar book. These are books that fit that I know that I'm not going to go, shit, where am I going to put them? That these are all books that have characters or storylines that I am intrigued by. So I like the, the personalization uh, in, in terms of the books that I think you know, the survey does kind of a good job there, making sure that you've got, you know, happy customers. Uh, the... Al Snow and Big E, there's a good chance that maybe there will be outtakes of me video, of my video, where I'm just like... I'm not going to edit any of that out. So there you go. Uh, but yeah, the trading cards were good. I like the spawn. We'll see if I ever open them. And then the hero clicks and the Funko Pop. So if you are a person who you just want books and you don't want any of this other uh, add-on, then probably not the box for you. But if you are into both comics and comic adjacent collectibles or wrestling or anime or movies pop culture cartoons all of the other things that i listed off at the beginning from the profile building survey then i think this is a pretty good box i would definitely argue right if it was 70 dollars shipped and the size of that box probably makes it close to 15 dollars in shipping that i definitely feel like i got 
um, you know, 50 bucks out of it. Across the books, right, that all the books alone are listed as, you know, three to four dollar books in near mint condition or, you know, around two, two dollars, three dollars there. So I think I got that there. I think the PPG on that name more pop is uh, was hovering in like the nine, nine to thirteen dollar range the the last time I looked at it in the app. So between that, some wrestling figures that I would never find otherwise, uh, and some fun trading cards. Like this is the right kind of box of of books, figures, and even whatever these hero clicks things are that I'm gonna spend some time googling in a bit. Uh, this feels like the right kind of box curated for me. So I think. If their model is to attempt to build a profile of you, uh, then they will successfully kind of hit where you're at. And you all know the kinds of things that I like. Uh, and that's the stuff that I put on my survey in response to these questions. So I really feel like uh, the comic just did a great job zeroing in on uh, me and my preferences. And there's a very, very good chance that come next payday, I'll, I'll order another one, right? That I know I said a couple of weeks ago I'm going to try and do less unboxing things, uh, so maybe that just means I'm going to open it for me and not you. I'll probably open it and film it and go, oh crap, I don't feel like talking about comics today. Here's a mystery box. We'll see. But awesome box. You can check out all of their Instagram, Facebook, and other like social places that you can find them online in the description below. But I'm a big fan. I'm going to enjoy some Starbursts and let this video process. So as always, thanks for stopping by. Have a good one.